Blessings to the gang. We are here. Let me get this set up. As you know, they was trying to hinder this game from coming through. You know what I mean? But things worked out. They was trying to flag the channel. I had to wait 2,644 innumerable eternal years uh, to finally get you know what I mean? Basically cleared. So now that that's done, sin can go live. Sin can talk crazy. Sin can be himself. You know? Now you didn't heard everybody else's perspective. You got everybody else's perspective. Now it's time to hear mine. I listened to a few people. They shit was cute. But get up in here, man, and hit it. Hit from a Hear from an ignorant nigga perspective, you know? Sometimes it just touch somebody and say, we want to hear from the pimpin'. We heard enough, you know, from the baby mamas, the wives, and we heard enough from, you know what I mean, the bras that'll never be baby mamas and wives, you know, whatever. And we also heard from the niggas that want to be baby mamas and wives. You know, we heard from them niggas too. But now it's time to hear from the pimpin'. You know, because this nigga right here, hey man, I don't feel sorry for this nigga at all. I'm just gonna keep this shit all the way 100. My heart, uh, you know, <laughs> what's going on, baby? You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to the wife, though. Uh, but no, I don't feel sorry. For, I don't feel sorry, for bro. I'm not on the hate train, so this ain't gonna be saying the same thing that everybody else been saying. Because some of the shit that these niggas be saying, it be unmanly. Even when a nigga done wrong, sin not going to just put you in the hell. I don't have a hell to put you in. I don't. I don't. I don't have no hell to put you in. I don't know why these niggas be acting like that. Like they got a hell to put somebody in. But y'all get them likes up. Hold on. Let me uh, just get this. I'm going to give y'all a few minutes. Because you know when I start, I'm going to start. And we're going to view this video together. Matter of fact, pull up a chair. Because you know how I break things down. It's going to take a little while that you can see, you know what I mean? Bro got the oranges, you know what I mean? Got to, You got to have them oranges, you know what I mean? So we in for one. Keep telling y'all, man, to get, get your whole foods on. You know what I mean? Can't forget the Fiji. I need that check. You know what I mean? Can't forget that. So come on, man. Let's snack a little bit uh, as we talk crazy. I'm not even going to be bothered with the comments. You know what I mean? I'll look at y'all comments later. I'm ready to start. Hope you uh ready to start. You can go back and look at this over again. But let's go. I'm ready to go in. All right. It says I'm live uh, on YouTube. If you guys can hear me in the chat, say I, please. Now, I'm going to try to go live here on Facebook. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're about to find out. All right, so hopefully you guys are tuned in here on Facebook and also tuned in here on YouTube. Let me see if I see any eyes in the comment section. So I'm here early, so you said, hey, let me see, I don't, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it on my side. Can you guys see me? Say I if you can see me and hear me. Oh, some people just put eye emojis. I get a nigga this. Even in the rough times, he gonna promote his book. All right, I see some eyes. Let me go to Facebook. <laughs> you know, niggas ain't shit. Niggas could get exposed for being in all type of hypocrisy, but they still gonna sit up there and promote whatever they got going on. He motherfucker, I respect that. Yes, understand? He getting exposed, but you know, he's still gonna get to the bag. <laughs> I'm doing something I typically don't do. All right, cool. I'm, I'm streaming from a camera or whatever. Okay, this thing is glitching because I'm on Wi-Fi. Matter of fact, hold on, let me do this right quick. All right, so if you guys can see me, we're just gonna rock out like that. Let me move this book anyway. Cool. I, I know it's really glitchy, guys, because I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm not a big live streamer, as you guys probably already know. Um, I don't even think my modem is in here. But if you can hear me, we're going to go with it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. Actually, let's give it a couple more minutes. I may be still early. Yeah, I'm about three minutes early. So he ain't even started yet. 
and he already started wrong. He ain't even started yet, and he already started wrong. When you have godly sorrow, see, people be trying to use spirituality. I don't even feel sorry for his followers, his viewers, because Derek is a, a terrible actor. A terrible actor. You know what I mean? His acting skills are terrible. You know what I mean? So anybody that was actually charmed and disarmed out of some money or manipulated by Derek, I really can't feel sorry for him because they really wasn't manipulated. You know what I mean? Bitches was just basically going for what, like, I know this nigga lying to me, but, you know, this shit sound good. What's that song Eminem used to have with Rihanna? I love the way you lie. This nigga ain't even started yet, hey, and he didn't already started wrong. Come on. Keeping. So first off, thank you guys for being here. Um, before we even get started, we're going to take a couple of minutes to try to let people get here. So it's glitching because the camera quality has to match the computer app quality. Okay. The shit probably wasn't even glitching. It's just that he nervous as a motherfucker. Shit ain't even glitching. Nigga over there with perfect signal and everything. Nigga just nervous than a motherfucker. Come on. You know what? I may just come out. If it's glitching, if it's glitching, somebody said it's not glitching. If it's glitching, then I may just start over. If, if it's glitching, then I just tell my lies later on. I'm already nervous than a motherfucker. So if it's glitching, you know what I mean? Y'all going to save my ass because I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I didn't really rehearse this shit right. You know what I mean? It's a little bit too soon. You know what I mean? I tried to post about my stepdaddy dying and shit, and y'all still ain't feeling sorry for me. You know what I mean? So really, man, I, I, I was hoping that this glitching shit, you know what I mean, get me out of the jam. But man, fuck, come on, come, come on. You guys can hear me, I'm cool. Thank you guys for the condolences for everything personal. My time said about an hour early. You know, when you in the lifestyle of pivoting horn, you just smell the perfume and cologne of manipulation from a mile away. Come on. No, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's what's going on. Any nigga that will use God as manipulation, he will use the death of his stepfather as manipulation too. Come on. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Cool, let's just rock with it. First things first, man, there's gonna be, I'm already knowing, I can already see in the comments, there's about two, three groups of people. This nigga got on a motherfucking Jamie Foxx, Sean Wayne shirt and a motherfucking Daz Effects hat on <laughs> in his office, man. This, like I said, this shit already started off wrong. He should've, <laughs> if you was gonna come with the God game, you was supposed to be dressed right. This nigga look like he about to commit a robbery, come on. Here, the first group are what I call them nine years. They even now what he's saying is accurate. You know, I'm not here to just, you know, I'm here to give you the truth in totality. There are people that just could not wait for Derek to mess up. Let's just be honest. You have those who are true black men, and it's not that they hate black women. They just basically, you know what I mean, are truthful, and they knew that Derek was full of shit. But then you have those that actually hate black women. So pretty much they hated, you know what I mean, what uh, Derek was professing to stand for. So they've been waiting for him to mess up. Now, even though he's basically spitting some uh, third grade manipulation here, you know, I have to just be keep it all the way one thorough. You know, what he's saying is accurate, you know, which is, which is why he looks even a more of a goddamn fool because you knew that they was waiting on you to fuck up and you gave them exactly what they wanted. Created a couple of- With your dumb ass. Things to try to get me caught up or try to have something against me and now there's something semi-legitimate um, <laughs> that has come out or come forward. Uh, you didn't semi have your dick in that bitch. So no, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't semi. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't semi. So those people are here and I want y'all to know did you semi eat the ass? Did you semi eat the coochie? Okay, then it's not semi, you know, niggas, boy. Come on. Because I know, and I'm also not going to be speaking to them. Those people that hate me no matter what, hey, man, you're entitled to whatever, but I'm not speaking to you. The second group of people, which is probably the minority of people, those people are those on the opposite extreme. They're... Man, if I was saved right now, I'd be able to break this down even more. But, you know, you got to be the message that you bring but you know i just know a self-righteous spirit 
when I seen one. This, you know, that's what the religion brings. It brings a self-righteous spirit. It brings the worst sin that God hates the most. Pride. And this brother is full. He, he's bound by an arrogant demon. He has no godly sorrow. He has not repented to God, but he is using God as manipulation to basically protect his image. For if it was godly sorrow that he had, that's what would have compelled him to actually reveal the iniquities and the things that he's been doing contrary to the word of God. See, when you really have the spirit of God, the spirit of God, even when you mess up, even when you do something, when you have the spirit of God, that don't mean that you're perfect. You know, the spirit of God is going to compel you to tell the truth. The spirit of God is not going to lead you in any lies. As the scripture says, you know, what I mean, uh, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. And the spirit of God ain't going to lead you in no lies. You know, so the brother right now, he, he's, he's full of it. And he, you could just tell anybody that's ever been saved before, had an authentic salvation. You just have the spirit of discernment. You could just tell when a religious, self-righteous individual is actually using the word of God deceitfully to keep maintaining the currency that he's manipulated people, you know, out of with this false image. Let's go. No wrong. I don't care what Derek is. Well, I won't say necessarily that's group number two, but the Derek can do no wrong is absolutely false. Okay, I deserve to be held accountable. Um, if I did something wrong, I'm not above no law. If I did something wrong, if I did something wrong. Now, for those that know the truth, you already know that after he did this live, Tasha K went live right after. And because Tasha K was putting dots on them eyes and crossing them keys, you know what I mean? He had to put the video on private. At first, he had had the video unlisted. And the reason why he had it unlisted, you know, what I mean, he wasn't too sure. Like, man, did I do a good job? Did I put on an Academy Award performance? You know, did I make it or not? You know, and once Tasha K went in and she was pulling out the sword of Samuel, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was hard. to. It's like, man, let me put this video back on private. So when Tasha K began to sit up there, and let me say this, Tasha K ain't right about everything. You know, anybody know her, you know what I mean? That bitch be lying too. But when she right, she's right. You know, and this particular time, she just so happened to be right. I can't lie about that. You know what I mean? But she didn't lie though, motherfuckers. And I'm pretty sure that the information that she's revealing is not the truth in totality. I'm pretty sure that there are some lies uh, within it. I'm pretty sure that uh, stories have been embellished uh, to diminish and abolish the uh, image that he's established in the uh, minds of the people. I'm, I know that. I just, you know, uh, Tasha K gonna paint that picture. So I already know that everything that was told, you got to keep in mind that this is coming from broads. All right. And my niggas that's listening, we already know that, you know what I mean? We can't make something the incontestable truth just because a woman said it. So everything that's been told uh, concerning uh, Derek, you know what I mean, is not accurate. We just got, you know, those that got game, we know. We know what it is and what it ain't. And honestly, this ain't gonna be the uh, last video because I gotta sit up there and check the followers. I gotta check these bitches. This story is just too much because this, this nigga was sipping hard as hell. So I had to, you had to know I was coming. Come on. Above getting checked, that's just is, that just is what it is. Make sure that for me or anybody else, you're not idolizing nobody. All right, if you separate the man from the actions or whatever the case, that's fine. But I, I would rather you just kind of decide after you hear me speak. Uh, as you guys know, man, my signal be going in and out sometimes, man. I've been working on that. They supposed to come back and fix that. So if you're dealing with some connection uh, difficulties, my bad. Uh, get the likes up, though. Everybody get the likes up. As of right now, it's 514 people watching it. As you know, seeing, give his review. Get them likes up. Make them likes look like the viewers. Blessings to everybody. Let's get back into this uh, this lion. I mean, this this uh, whatever he's doing. Come on. Here. The third, the third group is who I'm going to be speaking to. And that's going to be the people that say, D, 
you know, I find some value in what you do, whether I'm a supporter of your books, your videos, whatever, I find some value, but I got questions about where you're coming from with this stuff that you speak. You know, I got questions, what's going on? Did you walk like you talk it? Did you practice what you preach? So expectations, questions to ask, do I practice what I preach? Um, I'm gonna be talking to you guys tonight. So thank y'all all for being here. I think we've kind of caught up to the nine o'clock Eastern, eight o'clock Central time mark. So let's go ahead and get started. Now you're probably asking yourself, why did I make this about my book healed together without hurting each other? You know, do I really his okay, and I'm gonna be supportive, even though I'm chopping them up and roasting them, I'm gonna be supportive of his book. Y'all go out there and go get his book. We married together but never seen together in public. Go get it in stores. Again, Derek Jackson. We married together but we ain't seen together in public. We married together but we uh I'm not gonna answer is no um of course i want to get this into as many hands as possible and i'll let you know why but this book is a part of what i preach don't forget your crown part of what i preach the videos that i post part of what i preach in order um don't forget your crown <laughs> this nigga crazy wait a minute so you know you commit adultery but hey but you know what i'm gonna just keep this shit all the way one thorough uh, even though he's in hypocrisy, some of the things that he's told you guys is actually accurate. I know most of the guys right now, they just want to just, you know, go in on Derek. But let me just say this to you. If a crackhead tell you, boy, don't do no crack. You know what I mean? Don't say, oh, man, you a crackhead, man. I can't listen to you. You know what I mean? That's actually the best person to listen to because they involved. So the message, a lot of the messages that he's giving y'all was actually accurate, whether he was uh, obedient to the message or his life was on one accord with the message or not. But as far as that simping shit, he had created an image that was so perfect in the minds of black women. You, you had to be a fool to actually think that this was him. The way he had created himself, it was as if he was Yahweh, Yahweh, all in human form. You know what I'm saying? He was the, the, the Godhead bodily. You know what I mean? The way he would go in on, on men, you know what I mean? You would think that this brother has never committed a sin a day in his life. But as the scripture says in the book of Numbers, be sure that your sins will find you out. Come on. I mean, qualify. Me letting you guys know whether or not I practice what I preach. I'm going to have to reference the books. And the most recent one is Heal Together Without Hurting Each Other. And especially what we're going to talk Again, about. go get the book. You know, married together but never seen with each other in public. Come on. Tonight is directly related to why I wrote this, what I put in this. Okay? So, and probably for those that are just getting in, I see. Somebody says slow down mode. Is it glitching? Anyway, let's keep it going. So I can see why Derek don't do live videos. I can see why he just used to sit in the car and do pre-recordings. You know, he's he's lame and he really doesn't have a lot of magnetism uh, when he speaks, other than the fact that women are attentive to his appearance. But yeah, he's he's not he's not a talented uh, preacher at all. He's not a talented teacher. So I can understand why he used to just be in the car, just going off on simple. Come on. Everything really started back, honestly, when I wrote this book. Don't forget your crown and what I wrote it about. Me and my wife, we got back to- Make sure you get his book. Don't forget the condoms. 2016. Now what throws some people off about that is that we were messing around having sex before we got back together. We got back, we got back together, I think, in August of 2016. Later in 2016, August, September. We conceived the baby in January that was born in early October. You do the math. And let me just say this. See, when you a man, you don't even give a fuck. See, a man gonna let his... It used to be a song back in the day that Bone Thugs and Harmony used to sing on the show soundtrack. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. Listen, it's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. That's what men do. We let our nuts hang. Yeah, bitch, I did it. I got my dick sucked. I fucked your friend, your cousin, your cousin on your stepfather's side that's thick as hell. You know, but she cross-sided a little bit. I fucked her too. You know, a man 
going to be a man even in his bullshit. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to try to deceive you and make you comfortable in my bullshit. No, you're going to deal with my bullshit and it is what the fuck it is. You still going to see we two different people because you best to believe me being on swole as hell. I'll be talking so much shit. You bitches is going to buy my book and suck my dick any goddamn way. I, yes, I fuck. I fucked every fine ass bitch in Atlanta and I love it. These niggas is gay as hell and I'm the one out here that's in shape on swole. So all you bitches got to fucking suck on me. I would have I would have went live talking so crazy. You know what I mean? So what? Yeah, I fucked her. And I would have been like, yeah, and fuck Tasha K too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bitches in this comment section acting like you still don't want to fuck. Acting like if I don't sit up there and say something to you, you ain't going to bust that thing wide open. You better shut up. Now let me get back to working out and shit. You know what I mean? I got a hot date later on and shit like that. And my wife better stay in her room. And she better sit up there and have my dinner cooked. At That's the type of men that I grew up around. Even in their bullshit, even in their transgressions, even in their iniquities, they were still men about it. That's why I told y'all, be a man with everything that you do. Don't be no coward. Don't lie about nothing. Because when you lie, you only give people a motherfucking license to despise you. You never lie to a woman. You don't lie to no woman. It don't matter what you're doing. If she leaves, she leaves. But don't ever let it be said that you a motherfucking liar. Because lying is unmanly. Fuck with me and my bullshit or not. Ride or go. That's how men do it. But these niggas so different. Niggas over here apologizing and crying and shit like that. You would have thought the boy was snitching or got caught in a pedophile case the way he's explaining things. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that serious. Yes, my dick got hard. Her mouth was open. Uh, she was thick as hell. My, uh, my dick got hard again. I wanted to fuck. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's so sad today where you actually got a grown ass man explaining, explaining on a live. Yeah, you know, I got my dick sucked. I fucked my bad. You know what I mean? Like, man, please. I would have said, yeah, man, I fucked her cousin. I had fun. She was pregnant. Uh, uh, and even when she wasn't pregnant, she was around here looking like she was pregnant. I was on swole, going to the gym every day, looking all good. My wife got big as hell. Look, she started looking like uh, motherfucking Roseanne. You know what I mean? All type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was in the gym looking at fine ass bitches and everything. And my wife, she got too comfortable. She got too comfortable being out of shape. And my dick was still. I know he really wanted to say that, but he can't say that. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm out here. I look good. I'm still out here fine as hell. I can have any bitch I want. What y'all expect? You want to, right? Now, I got roasted up and down. And guess what? I totally get why. Because that's a shaky foundation. We had a baby. We wasn't even prepared to get in a relationship. Me knowing that this is the woman that I wanted, I went ahead and got down on one knee within a couple of months. It wasn't just because of the baby. I really was like, I, I've been unhappy doing my thing with these other chicks Derek is telling another lie. I was unhappy doing my thing. No, he was not unhappy doing this thing, but it just sound good with the story. You know what I mean? Basically, I got married to somebody that I didn't want to even get married to, but you know, she was pregnant, you know what I mean? And due to the fact that, you know, um, I had already knew her, we had already knew each other basically since, since youngins, she was pregnant. So I married her. It's not this romantic in love story that y'all think. It's not that. He married her because she was pregnant. I didn't marry, you know, I didn't marry her because she was just so fine and I had to have her. No. So oh, this woman, her name is Danea, by the way, is the one that I want. Fast forward. Of course, that's a shaky foundation, trash foundation. Um, two people just riding high on love and emotion. And hey, and while you sitting there listening to me talk shit, take your fat ass finger and hit the like button. It's 597 people listening, but it's only 309 likes. Take your nutty professor finger, man, and hit that motherfucking like button so we can get these notifications out there. Stop playing with this game.
right, come on. Being new parents right in the very beginning of a new marriage. That brings me up to some of the issues that we had that led to heal together without hurting each other. Heal together without. Like I said, I give it to Derek because even in his bullshit, he is going to sell this book. That man is going to get to the bag. I respect that. You know what I mean? I'm full of shit. I'm lying my ass off, but I'm still going to promote my book. It's thousands of people watching. Somebody going to buy this motherfucker. Come on. Each other is a biblical, actually biblically based manuscript game plan on how to let God restore your relationship or restore you no matter how much you've been hurt in the past, broken you are, etc. Okay? So, Healed Together Without Hurting Each Other talks about how to have your individual journey and how the journey is really not a journey. It's a fight. It talks about all these different things. Now, why did I even write this book? February 1st, this is something a lot of you did not know. February 1st, me and my wife separated. I'm talking official separation. Before that, we had like an unofficial separation. For those that don't know his message, he teaches against people having sex. Okay, we back. Uh, he had already put it out there that you know, if you have uh, sex during uh, the separation, you're still wrong. Because even if you're separated from your spouse, that does not give you the right to just do what you want to do and just fuck whoever you want to fuck. He's already put it out there. So that already makes him look bad because his actions is totally contrary to what he said within this one video that's posted on his IG. You know what I mean? Because he already spoke against, you know, people having sex during the time while they separated. You know, he put that out there. Come on. You know, I'm not at the house. She's not at the house. We're not talking. We're not boom, boom, boom. February 1st is the official mutual. I said, look, I don't think this is going to work. Separation. We had some challenges before that. February 4th, I gave my life to Christ. I said, God, I can't handle this. I need you to come in and help me out. That was on February 4th, the exact same day, Danea, my wife, she packed up the kids and left the crib, went 1,500 miles away to a mom's crib. He, he back, see, that's how you know he on his nigga shit. You know what I mean? Uh, bro talking about going to the crib. You know what I mean? Bro on his nigga shit right now. Y'all got him in a black Daz Effects hat and a Sean Wayne, Jamie Foxx shirt. You know what I mean? Using words like crib. This nigga is truly on his nigga shit. Come on. Right. Fast forward, because I'm trying to get to the point. I know what a lot of people really want to talk about. Some of the stuff that has been swirling around or whatever, right? Right. So that's why I keep taking y'all to Gen through Genesis to Revelations, because I'm hoping that you'll forget about, you know, what you truly watching me for. Come on. Fast forward a couple of months. In those couple of months, we were working on the marriage. Hey, maybe we can make this work. We're praying. Uh, we're going to church about this. Now we're both in Christ. She's already a Christian. I'm, I'm a new Christian. And it's not working. Nothing that I implement is working. Nothing that we're having in these conversations is working. Um, basically start losing hope around, I would say, May. Then we had a disagreement about whether or not to even have the kids here at my place or, you know, up there with her mom. Matter of fact, Let's do some fact checking. If somebody wants to pull up my YouTube channel, you can see in the earlier part of 2020 where I'm doing my videos, what you'll see is I'm in Airbnbs up in Denver. I was flying back and forth over and over. Shout out to the homie Rome. For all right. Anyway, even with all of that being said, I'm flying up where we're meeting with pastors. We're doing this. We're doing that. Things are not working around May is whenever we started losing, like both of us started feeling, mainly her though. And then we had an argument about where the kids were going to be, whether they're going to be with me on this day or her with that date. And then lawyers got introduced. Shortly after lawyers got introduced, I realized she wasn't wearing her ring. Shortly after that, as we're continuing to talk as much as possible, we stopped talking. Most of, the, most of our conversation is in text message. And then we have a conversation. When we do have a conversation, she's letting me know, like, whatever you need to do, you need to do because you're not my responsibility. I'm not linked to you. Like, we are together, but right now I understand if you got to go out and do whatever. Now, what that spoke to me was, I don't care if you're going to be with other women, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that wasn't my green light. My issue is this. At that point, I had a beef with God. I gave my life. <laughs> Boy, niggas be so full of shit, you know, and I got saved 
uh, February the 1st. And when I received the Lord Jesus Christ into my life, my hands was brand new and my feet was new too. He brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. I was called into this royal priesthood. You know what I mean? I once was an outcast, a stranger on earth, alien by choice, a sinner by birth. But now my name is written down. I'm an heir of a mansion, a robe and a crown. And God laid his hands on me and I was just so saved from February, uh, February 1st. Then me and my wife had problems. She said that, you know, uh, she, this is not working for her. It was the same day that I gave my life to God. And we just started having discrepancies within my marriage. And I just, I couldn't take it, you know, and we, we, it was lawyers involved, pastors involved, bishops involved, evangelists involved, prophets involved, prophetess involved, apostles involved, aspiring ministers involved, people from all different auxiliaries, cross country, out of the country, everybody was involved. And I noticed at the meeting, she did not have her ring on, but that wasn't what got my dick hard. That wasn't what caused me to put my face deep in a woman's ass, tasting the very tissue out of a woman's ass, eating the black history out of black history month out of a woman's ass. That wasn't what caused a woman to ride the shit out of my face. That's not what compelled me to fuck a bitch from Genesis to Revelations and indulge in adultery and for her fornication. <laughs> Man, come on. You could have did better than this, Derek. You could have did better than this, Derek. You could have did better than this, man. Come on now. <laughs> you could have did better than this. You know, you could have brought some way better game than this. You could have brought way better game than this, man. Come on, man. You could have. <laughs> This nigga's stupid. I was angry at God. It wasn't that she didn't have a ring on. That's not what set me off. That's not what said that I'm about to go out and get my dick sucked. I'm about to fuck every thick ass, fine ass bitch in Atlanta. That's not what set it off. What set it off was I was angry at God. I was in a rebellious state at that time. Like, bro, come on, man. You could have thought of some shit better than that. Oh, you should have rationalized strategize and, and motherfucking organize nigga your thoughts to get better results you know what i mean out this situation you rushed to hurry up and do this live nigga and it shows you didn't have your scriptures together you didn't even have your tongues that's what the religious people was expecting they, they came to see godly sorrow they wanted to see you cry they wanted to see you sit up there you understand me and, and speak in tongues enoch and elijah samson and elilah Ah, ah, you know what I mean? They was expecting to see you getting purged with hyssop. You understand me? Shout out to my nigga, man. You know, street news TV. But you know what I mean? They was expecting you to speak in tongues. They was expecting you to be at the altar, like really just going hard before God. You know, but instead of you crying out to God with the spirit of David, we expected to see weeping and gnashing of teeth, lamentations. You up in here giving justification for why you sit up there and committed adultery and other women fornication. Let's go. From February, on February 4th, 2020. Matter of fact, some of y'all that follow my Twitter may have, may have seen me a couple of weeks ago talking about how I just hit my... Come on, man. Don't nobody give reviews, like seeing. Hit that like button. Make them likes look like the viewers. It's 732 people listening right now, and it's only 459 likes, man. Get my likes. Make the likes look like the viewers. Everybody hit the like button. Come on. Your mark. I gave my life to Christ, and my whole <laughs> life fell apart. My marriage fell apart. At this point, I'm not seeing my kids. Um, you know, I'm helping people best I can. But Listen to what he said. I gave my life. You did not give your life to Christ. That don't even sound right. I gave my life to Christ and my life was messed up. So God fucked your life up? Like, <laughs> what is this Negro saying? No, the calamities and tragedies, the discrepancies, you understand me, that you uh, were facing with situations that you created. It had nothing to do with God. This nigga is dumb. He didn't even think of his religious manipulation before he even came in here with this shit. Come on, man. Not giving me fulfillment. I got money. I got this, that, and the other. And I really honestly just went to a place of, of effort. Just screw it. I don't care no more. I don't care about being a good man because look where it's gotten me. 
I don't care about serving God because look where it's got me, right? I don't care about serving God. Well, look where it's got me. Even though, you know what I mean, uh, I'm going to go in this car, I'm going to sit down, and I'm about to look at these phone, uh, look at my phone, and I'm about to spit at my phone. I'm about to come up with the best Bruno Mars simp shit that I can come up with in the car and minister to black women while I'm out here just fucking and doing my goddamn thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, you know, I'm just fucking. I'm mad at God, but I'm about to sit in this car, and I'm about to hit the record button, and I'm about to give some of the best simp messages, you know what I mean? that these black women have ever heard in their goddamn life. I am about to come with this shit. Okay, bitch, you don't want to wear your ring no more? Okay, I'm about to sit up there and be the coldest trick. I'm about to just sit up there and commit adultery all over this place while sitting over there jumping in my car, giving some of the greatest simp messages known to mankind, you know, in history. Come on. That was in May. I would say June, conversation is slowing down. She's waiting for a lawyer to get back to her. And what I'm getting to is the point where I hit rock bottom because I did hit a rock bottom and where God pulled us from. And, did. and when he said hit rock bottom, you know, sometimes, you know, when you in that pussy, man, you know what I mean? You have to hit a certain spot. See, some of y'all didn't get the revelation. He was indirectly, but directly telling you, you know what I mean, hitting rock bottom. You know what I mean? Those that know about the goodness of melanated pussy, touch somebody and say, sometimes you got to hit rock bottom. Come on. This is how all of this came to be. June, we talking about my birthday. She basically lets me know there's no plan for her to be around on my birthday, okay? Now I'm in screw it mode, F it mode. I'm hitting up, she's from Florida, Miami, uh, Orlando, Florida. Girl I'd have known, at least been acquainted with for a couple of years, right? So basically, I had to hook up with one of these old bitches that I used to text all the time. You know, we used to flirt and everything like that. I had to go back and get some of that good, you know, uh, good connection back and see if we could reconnect and replenish the conversations that we used to have. Because I used to sit up there and tamper with my flesh, but now I think I want to sit up there and take it a step further and really get in my flesh, you know, and really do some carnal things and really indulge in carnality, you know, this time. So let me go ahead and resurrect this conversation that I used to have with this girl with this whorish spirit, you know what I mean? So I can indulge in some good ass adultery because I can't fall. Now he just told you he don't care about his reputation, but you don't see no pictures and videos of Derek Jackson being in public, you know, doing what he want to do. So he's full of shit. He full of shit. Derek didn't hit the club. Derek wasn't outside you know, just doing what he want to do. No, he didn't. He was scared of being caught. He did not want you to know what he was involved in. That's why he was comfortable talking to somebody that he had already been having inappropriate, ungodly, carnal conversations with. So that's why he hit that girl up. That's why he hit that woman with that horror spirit up. Because he knew that it wouldn't take long to press her button and she was going to let him fuck because she been wanting to let him fuck. You know what I mean? He knew who to call. Come on now. Touch somebody and say, you know who going to uh, sit up there, you understand me, and come through when you get on the phone and say come through. He knew that. He knew that this was some easy pussy access. He knew this. So that's why he sat up there and called the bitch. I've been talking to her since the book of Job. Maybe the bitch would give me some motherfucking uh, good sex during the uh, revelations. Yeah. I've been talking to this bitch since Methuselah was in high school. You know what I mean? It's finally time for me to knock the dust off that pussy. I ain't had no good pussy in a minute. My wife out of shape. My wife be getting too comfortable just walking around the room naked sometimes. You know what I mean? And I'm going to just keep it real. I'm going to just give you women some, some, some game, man. Whenever you got a man that's in shape, that's making countless sacrifices in the gym to maintain his when, when you got a man that's making countless sacrifices in the gym to maintain his markability and you get into a continuity of looking any kind of way, you are making provisions for your husband to do things contrary to the vows that he made. Now, of course, they, them people not going to uh, tell you, but come on, man, let's just keep this shit real. If you basically maintaining your youth, you looking good, you eating right. 
And then after you finish making all these countless sacrifices in the gym, you got to sit up there and go back to some some bitch. This she just decent looking by the grace of God. Each and every day you get DMs and messages about how handsome and how fine, how in shape you is. And then you go back home to somebody, you know what I mean, that's out of shape. To put, plus, let's just keep it real. If you've been fucking on that pussy, if you've been residing in that pussy for such a long time, it's really not, you know, it's nothing to you. He been having, man, he been fucking his wife for years. He been, been had that pussy. And as we, the old saying go, ain't nothing better than some pussy, than some new pussy. So, you know what I mean? Uh, the th like B.B. King said, the thrill is gone. He's not turned on by his wife. I've seen her. She ain't bad looking, but let's just keep it real. When you having money, and not just having money, you making six figures a month, you're in shape. It's like, damn. Not only did I marry you because... You know, you had the baby, but I married you because this was good for my image. But damn, this marriage ain't good for my dick, though. Let's just keep it real. See, he want to quote from Romans and all of that. You know, the marriage was good for my image, but this marriage ain't good for my dick, though. What about my dick, though? You know what I mean? What about these nuts? What about me? I, I'm coming up, but what about me coming, though? You know? I need a woman that's gonna help me come around this bitch. You know what I mean? I know this is what Derek really want to say, but he can't because he's created a simp image that is so cold that he didn't exalted himself to be the greatest simp. Now bitches got great expectations from him, like he's God. He's created an image that's bigger than he'll ever be. He could never basically fulfill, you know what I mean, the shit that he didn't create it. You know. This nigga then created a uh, simp man, not Superman, but simp man. But you know, to whom much is given, much is required. Come on. Time I think I seen it was back in 2016 before me and my wife got together. I hit. Y'all not hitting that like button. It's 853 big head motherfuckers uh, watching. You Boston baked bean head motherfuckers better take your nutty professor finger and hit that like button, man, and get them likes up and get them likes on one accord with them viewers. It's almost 900 people up in here, and it's only 578 likes, man. Then I don't know what that like button did to you. Maybe that like button fucked your wife. Maybe that like button fucked your husband. Maybe that like button knocked you for the bitch. But you better get out your motherfucking feelings and hit that like button when this game coming through, though. Yeah. So I'm going to come down to Miami. We're going to kick it. I'm going to get a guy, blah, blah, blah. Now, here's the thing. And we're going to do a Q&A right after this. Here's the thing. Which he lied. We're going to do a Q&A after this. But he know he knew that the video that he did was full of lies. And it was so fucked up. You know what I mean? The Tasha K went live. Tasha K had came so bad that he had to go back to the drawing board. He had to call a timeout and go back and, and go get a plan. That's how fucked up it was. He said he was supposed to do a Q&A after this. He never did it. He never did it at all. You know? I didn't get that. Come on. Could you try again? Hold on for a minute. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I don't know what this bitch talking about. Hold on for a minute. No problem. Bitch, shut up. That's what's wrong with these bitches now. Talking when this pimpin' is talking. Bitch, I didn't ask you to talk. Come on. So we go hang out. We're on the yacht. We're doing our thing. Friends are there. Bitch talking about no problem. Bitch, did I say it was a problem? We come back to my Airbnb. Everybody's having a kickback. She leaves. Everybody leaves. My boys leave. She leaves everything. She comes back the next day because we're going to go out to eat. And for some reason, she needed to use my charger first thing in the morning. I didn't really find that odd. I didn't think nothing about it. What I didn't know was Candace was taking pictures of my feet. Found that out later. Okay? Next thing I know, we kicking it, we chilling. We actually go meet up with one of her friends at a brunch spot. We leave there. You can just tell by body language this nigga lying his ass off. And what was it? A couple of weeks later, I'm like, look, I'm about to do something for my birthday. Do you want to come out? He didn't even think enough of y'all to like really get a beautiful lie up. This nigga freestyle lying. 
This nigga freestyle line. He didn't even think about the lie that he's telling right now. He just going as he go. Her friends out. Long story short, her friends and about, I would say about 25 to 30 people. We having a mansion party. We tripping out. I'm smoking. I'm getting high. Still no sex. But she wants to use. That's a lie. Come on. Bathroom. She wants to go and, and use my charger whenever we did the house tour. House tour with a couple of. And this nigga is, is stupid. You are a celebrity. Do you not know that a bitch gonna take pictures and vi That's how you know this nigga really a simp. Now, I'm gonna keep this shit 100. You know what I mean? I'm like motherfucking Suge Knight when it come to my videos. I got all the masters to all my freaky videos. There's not a bitch that got a video of me doing nothing. I got the masters to my whole sex. I've been I've been fucking the bitch fucking the shit out of bitches cross country and I've been fucking the bitches internationally. Okay? Now my dick is international. My my dick used to be cross country, but now that I'm in Canada, you know what I mean? Now that we in Mississauga, you know what I mean? My dick is international now. You know what I mean? Sin's dick is international. This is some international dick. International with this shit, bitch. Yeah, international dick. You know? So I got all the masters to my dick. I got all the masters to my videos. Can't one bitch sit up there and show you a video of me doing anything sexually or any of that. Why? Because I have all the masters. Real men keep the masters to sex videos. You ain't gonna never see no picture, no video of seeing sucking on thighs and licking the back of knees and you know what I mean, a bitch riding my face. You never gonna see none of that. Not only because I don't do it, but you're not gonna see that because I own all the masters to all my sex capades. A bitch can't have no phone when we doing nothing. Why? Cause I run everything. This nigga goofy. A bitch got power around him. A bitch don't have no power around Sinful to Pete. The moment she come in my presence, she honors everything. Bitch, put your phone up. Ain't none of that going on. And when you a celebrity, let me give you this game. When you a celebrity, and I'm not even a celebrity. I'm just a regular motherfucking nigga. All y'all got more money than me. All y'all more intelligent than me in the comment section. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about this motherfucking game. But this is what I will tell you. When you are a celebrity, you can't be going FaceTime with thoughts and all of that shit. Bitches gonna take pictures, put false narratives with it. This nigga's stupid. But what did I teach y'all? When a dick is alive, he's brain dead. It don't matter if a man got a master's degree. It don't mean if he got a doctor's degree in divinity from Moody Bible Institute. When a man's dick is alive, he is brain dead. It don't matter how much education he got. It don't matter how much uh, salvation that he professed that he got. When a man's dick is alive, he is brain dead. None of that matters. He's ready to risk it all. A man, a man that is governed by lust, you understand me, will jeopardize his family. A man that is governed by lust, you know what I mean, is going to sit up there and put the, the lust of his flesh you know what I mean? Above, you know what I mean? Uh, his success, as we see. Because that's inevitable. You know, he gonna lose some followers, you know, because of this. You know what I mean? All because the lust of his flesh. What does the word of God say? The devil come to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. And when you go to 1 John, how does he do it? The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Come on. When she wants to stop and do this, stop and do that. I didn't know what was going on until later on that the entire time she was trying to take pictures of me as I'm walking in and out. Okay, I didn't know that, right? Cool. That's because you was bound by the spirit of lust. You wasn't even subconscious. You wasn't conscious at all. You so busy trying to eat pussy and booty, you not even paying attention that this bitch is sitting over there, you understand me, getting some insurance pictures. She taking evidence pictures, evidence videos, but you bound by the spirit of lust. 
When a man is bound by the spirit of lust, it don't matter how much education he got, how intelligent he is, he's a stupid ass nigga. We've seen stupid ass niggas from Genesis to Revelation. We've seen stupid ass niggas from, you understand me, your day, his day, ancient times to recent times, from here to Columbine, stupid ass niggas. When a man's dick is alive, he's brain dead. A woman, he has become a personal ATM machine. He, a woman could do anything and everything. That woman could have came up with a lie, all type of shit, sued him, all type of shit. He should just be glad that it's just some adultery talk. He's not, yeah, he's not wise at all. Let's go. Fast forward to, I'm talking to my mentor because at this point, I'm not feeling where I'm at. I'm breaking down. I don't want to do anything productive. If you look at my videos from, what was it? If you look at my videos from June, about June 10th to September 10th, you'll see me post about two to three times. Talking to my mentor, I basically just had this whole meltdown about nothing is satisfactory. God don't, God don't love me. My wife don't love me. My kids don't love me. My pastor don't love me. Woe is me, oh Lord. Oh my God. Don't nobody love me. Don't nobody. I, I began to talk to my mentor. I just felt like I wasn't loved at the time. You know, why did you get your dick sucked, son? Why did you fuck another woman? You know, I just felt like God didn't love me. Like, <laughs> this boy sound as dumb as when I was a, a little boy and I told my school teachers, you know what I mean, that my mama didn't feed me. And my stomach is hanging over my pants and I'm sitting over here telling my teachers as a little ass boy, I'm telling my, my teachers that my mama don't feed me. They said, well, who feeding you? Cause you look like you eating. I said, well, you know, I got, I got a job. I got two jobs. You know what I mean? <laughs> they were just laughing their ass off, but you know, he sounded as dumb as I did as a little kid. Come on. And something that he told me basically changed my life. And he said, D, the reason why you're not happy, the reason why nothing is lining up the way that you want it is because you verbally gave your life to Christ, but you didn't submit your life to Christ. You, you if you, you basically, as Christ said in the word of God, they profess that they know me. They, conf they profess that they know me, but I don't know them. You know what I mean? Yahara Shai said in his word, many of them going to say, Lord, Lord. You know what I mean? He professing salvation, but he's not possessing salvation. So the, like I said, the brother had a religious experience, but he didn't have authentic salvation. You know what I mean? So that's what the man really was saying. You went up there and you confessed your sins, but you didn't repent. You confessed, but you didn't repent. You didn't turn back from your evil ways. You didn't, you didn't kept indulging in that. So you were just going through some religious motions, but you didn't receive authentic salvation. Come on. You verbalized it. You said it. You accepted him, but you didn't walk with him. You didn't walk in according to him. Look at what he said. He's so goofy. He don't even know what he's saying. You accepted him, but you didn't walk. No. How you accept Christ, how you accept holiness, how you accept the engrafted word of God, the breakfast, lunch, and dinner of champions. Tell somebody and say, it don't work like that. If any man be in Christ, old things are passed away and behold, all things become new. You know what I mean? That's, didn't the word of God say that? Didn't it say, didn't the apostle Paul say that? You know what I mean? You still uh, participating in old things. So no, the, the, you didn't accept Christ. Not at all, son. Stop telling these lies. Come on. You're still holding on to some things. Okay. That was probably, I think, July 27th or something like that. My, my wife is getting ready to come back in town. Uh, we haven't had much further dialogue about the divorce or anything like that, but we haven't rekindled anything. So at that point, what I decided was, okay, the marriage is done. But in order for me to have an opportunity to have this happiness or have this fulfillment that I'm looking for, I have to come into alignment with God. And that means even if my wife is ringed off, totally not talking to me, 
even if um, whatever, I won't even say depressed, but really in a bad space, even if whatever, in order for me to really connect with God, I got to clear some things out. So I threw away my liquor. I threw away every bit of other things that I was using. He threw away everything but some pussy. I threw away weed. I threw away the liquor. I was a night rambler. I was a gambler. I was doing my thing. I threw away everything but uh, some pussy. <laughs> That's what that nigga should have said. I threw away gambling. I threw away my weed habit. I threw away porn addiction. I threw away club hopping. Hey Amen. How many know about club hopping tonight? I gave up everything but some pussy. They gave up everything but some pussy. <laughs> I gave up lying. I was a liar. I would just lie all the time. I would just cheat it all the time. I was out there messing up, doing my thing, doing the devil's thing. I gave up everything. But one thing that I didn't give up is some pussy. <laughs> I cut off everybody, Candace included. Now, I didn't say, I won't say I gave an explanation. All I said was this ain't right, and we don't need to talk again until this divorce is final. Necessarily say I recommend. I believe I preached on it. Somebody fact check me. Whenever I've talked on this subject, my whole dialogue has been that you don't want to deal with a man who's separated because he may still have feelings for his wife. I mean, he may be lying to you. In my case, I definitely had feelings for my wife, but I thought we were over and I wasn't lying. <clears throat> In my practice and what I preach, I guess so. So anyway, I sent her that text message. I In my practice and what I'm preach, I guess so. <laughs> no, nigga, I guess not. Hit that like button now. Anybody that ain't hit the like button, if you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure you click on the subscribe. Make sure you click on the bell and definitely hit that like button. Am I uh, following what I preach? I guess so. Nigga, no. Bro and everything. In the past, what I would do is, and this is what caused a lot of issues even in my marriage, I would mostly cut somebody off. I would in communication, but I wouldn't cut it. I wouldn't completely obliterate. I wouldn't completely... Uh, after I would fuck a bitch and commit adultery, I would just block her, you know, because sometimes them bitches be trying to come back. So after I would cheat on my wife, I get some good ass pussy, you know, immediately, you know, once the bitch was gone, I blocked her motherfucking ass. Come on. Close every door to that part of my life. All right. It was only on that day, and don't get me wrong, this wasn't immediate. It was only on that day where I started seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. My anxiety is not nearly where it was. Me not wanting to do this, not caring to inspire anybody, not nearly where it was. Even in terms of me and Danae's communication, she still went forward. By the way, I wish I had printed this out because I believe you can actually search this. She filed for divorce. Some people- I wish you would have printed out your speech. <laughs> I wish you would have printed out your lies. So you can remember these motherfuckers while you just freestyling this shit. I wish you would have rehearsed in the mirror. I wish you would have had a, a complete rehearsal, you know, for some weeks before you had went live and got yourself together. So Derek, was the separation really real? She filed for the, for the divorce. The lawyers were in. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to. I'm going to go to my email. Trey Sauls is my lawyer. What? And see, what the fuck did this nigga just say? I know this nigga didn't just say that Trey Songs is his lawyer. Now, you know this nigga ain't say, no, this nigga did not just say that Trey Songs is his lawyer. Huh? Separation really real. She filed for the, for the divorce. The lawyers were in. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to, did I'm going to go to my email. I know I didn't hear that shit. Trey Songs is my lawyer. That's what it sounds like, but he probably saying Trey Songs or something. I don't know if you guys can. I ain't never known Trey Songs to be no lawyer. Like, you know that Trey not gonna get you out of these situations, man. I don't know. Come on. Just let me see. He know let we can't see. see that shit. Uh, hold on. I don't know. It's not showing. He make me want to go live see the date? and pretend to be him and show my phone. Can y'all see, see this? I should have. <laughs> I've seen some questions in there. I'm going to get to the questions right after. Appreciate you guys. I see the questions in there. I'm not going to answer the motherfuckers uh, that keep sending the super chats in that's really getting on my helmet. I'm going to look for some cute 
questions that, you know, I can answer and, and get past, you know? You guys, I'm going to get to the questions right after. Anyway, at this point, she goes through and she files for divorce. And yes, this entire time, I'm sitting there breaking down. I'm sitting in my marriage is trash. Even though I'm not posting regularly, I haven't completely stopped. So if you want to say like, Derek, that's, you know, you tripping for not coming forward and saying that your own marriage is in, in shambles or whatever. That's what I definitely did. So you were in hypocrisy. Um, you was fucking, you was getting your dick sucked by other women while you, you know, was married. And you were sitting in a car giving the greatest simp speeches known to mankind. This cold dude. But she filed for divorce. I believe it was officially filed on the 28th of August. But by the end of that month, we finally come into alignment with God's way, finally allowed for us to start having real conversations. It's like you can kind of depend on the way that you want to do things. You can kind of depend on what you think is going to be best, your own intellect, your own knowledge. But what I said in this book, and this is how it all ties in. Like I said, I can't, this, this is a cold dude. While he was making all of them sim speeches in the car, you know what I mean? Going in, just criticizing and minimizing and motherfucking verbally crucifying every mother. I don't want to talk to you, bitch. Why are you calling me right now? You know what I mean? But while he's sitting over there doing, hold on. He committed adultery and he still wants to sell this book. He's still going to sell his book. <laughs> I, I mean, hey, and it's still going to be some dumb motherfuckers to still buy it. Hold on. It wasn't until I learned that I, this nigga got the man, no heart. This nigga ain't got no heart at all. <laughs> have all the knowledge in the world. I can have all the intellect in the world. But whenever you're in a, a spiritual covenant, when you're in a covenant with God, you can't do it by your own judgment. You can't do it by your own thought. Hold on. This, Cause this bitch keep calling me. Hold on. Hello. I'm I'm live right now. Goodbye. Goofy motherfucker. Don't call me right now. You know when I go live, I don't want to be bothered. Your own reason, your own logic. Right? Unless it's an emergency, unless something happened, do not call me. Do I look like Derek Jackson? Bitch, I'm not gonna have my attitude and I'm gonna sit up there and go off on you on live. I don't have see this is that's why I like being sinful. I'm not, my name not Angel. It's sinful for a reason. You come in knowing that, you know what I mean, I ain't shit. You come in knowing that, you know, I'm uh, up to no good. And I like it like that. You know, that way I can really manifest, you know what I mean, the spirit, you know what I mean, of ignorance. And, you know, I can really sit up there and, you know, just be just niggified and rambunctious and outlandish and, be as foolish as I want to because you already know what I'm about. See, man, fuck with real niggas. That was the end of August. I believe it was about a, a mid-September where we ended up at the same church event and the pastor was willing to see us in the back after church and all of that stuff. And we basically had a one-on-one -on -one with him. And that's where we decided we were going to take the force completely off the table. Taking divorce completely off the table was such a huge turnaround because just two or three months prior, she wasn't talking to me. We weren't talking. And I let her talk for herself and she's able to come down here in a little bit. She's putting the kids to bed. She's a strong woman. She never came down, you know, but she ended up speaking today. We'll look at all that stuff later. But, you know, what I mean, yeah, she's a strong woman of God. She's putting the kids to bed. No, Nick, she's not putting the kids. She didn't want to be in the live at that time. You know, what I mean, you made her get uh, his wife did not want to be bothered with this shit. She didn't want to be in the video. You know what I mean? You admitting to all the pussy you've been getting. You know what I mean? And, and, and all of this shit. And then she got to come on there looking stupid. You know what I mean? And, you know, tell your wife, man. You know, I ain't going to tell her that. You know, you ain't going to tell her. I'll tell her. You know, baby, you got to fix your hair. You can't be coming on here with that Jill Scott living my life like it's gold and, uh, you know, look, baby, you got to get up. No wonder he cheating around this motherfucker. Hold on, come on. She has her own voice. But we weren't talking, weren't doing anything, right? 
And here we are taking divorce completely off the table and now talking about our future again. So in that time, with godly counsel and with putting everybody back where they're supposed to go, because both of us had let some outsiders in. Uh, Candace was only one of mine, but she, my wife did too, and I don't think it was other guys. I'm not trying to insinuate that. But outsiders were allowed in. Something that I talked about and don't forget your crown that you're not supposed to do. I'm referencing this because this is what I... Yeah, and another book you need to go pick up. It don't matter what the brother's in. You know, Derek wrote another book called Don't Forget Your Condoms. You know what I mean? Y'all make sure y'all pick that up. Go to Amazon. You know what I mean? He wrote that before uh, his new book, you know, getting married to uh, each other without being seen with each other in public. That's the new one. But his old book, Don't Forget Your Condoms, that's the number one bookseller. Make sure you go get that. Don't forget your condoms. Come on. So wisdom is one of those things that you can either listen to it, eat it, or not. Either way, you're going to eat the fruit of it. That was in September. By the end of December, me and her, I'm talking about crushing the honeymoon stage. Crushing the honeymoon stage. Now, what had to happen in order for that to go down? Well, first off, there was a complete purge of everything that was not of God. There was a complete submission to God. Some of you may A complete purge? <laughs> Nigga, if you don't get your purge me with his ass out of here, come on. Look at, look at my YouTube videos. Anybody in the comment section, you may be able to, you may be able to peep that since August, I haven't cussed in any of my videos. I haven't said Team Jackson was happening. Why is that? Because my platform is not my platform anymore. If somebody probably go through the video, they probably could see him saying that. You know what I mean now. But if you go look at my videos uh, from that time, I'm not saying Team Jackson no more. You know what I mean? I'm not licking my lips like LL no more. You know what I mean? Because it's all about Christ. And I want to exalt Christ and I want him to be lifted up because he said in his word, if I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. Nigga, you could have came better than this. I completely have come into the submission of Christ. You may look on Twitter and see certain things that I've said, acknowledging Christ, acknowledging God. Now, these are just like small, I guess, evidences, you know. Evidences? But evidences? What the fuck? August, the beginning of August, I would say, not only my marital life, not only my internal peace, but even the impact that I'm having on people, not just in dating and relationships, but now in marriage, completely skyrocketed. So that's only a piece of my testimony. Um, that is according to what I preached in my books. That is according to what I preached in my videos. I am absolutely cool with being held accountable. I have no problem with that whatsoever. And I have no problem saying what I did was, like was wrong. But let me be very clear. In dealing with that girl, while I was separated, while I was actually separated, a couple of weeks before the divorce was filed, it wasn't wrong necessarily for, according to my old logic. Why was it wrong? It was wrong because I was in a covenant with God and I only was making it contingent based on my wife. I was only making it contingent based on what she said. Well, we're not dealing with each other. Well, she's not meeting my needs. And in that, I think she's not meeting my needs. She is not sucking this dick right. She's not riding this dick right. She's not taking this dick right. This pussy is so Old Testament. This pussy is old as the Book of Maccabees. I need some new pussy around this bitch. I'm working out. You know what I mean? I'm still good looking. I got my money going on. The bitches is on my dick. And my wife around here just looking any kind of way. You know what I mean? I come home. You know, sometimes, you know what I mean? She don't be doing her hair. You know what I mean? She be looking a goddamn fool. She got this NDIRE shit going on. And I'm not feeling it. Sometimes what she be having on, sometimes basically uh, her attitude and the way she carry herself, you know what I mean? She be trying to touch on me and feel on me and trying to get something started. I don't even want to go there. What is a nigga to do? I've created a simp image that is bigger than life. What is a nigga to do? You know, I got, I'm rich now. You know, I'm rich. I done made a lot of money. 
I done charmed and disarmed a lot of feeble-minded, absent-minded truth right there, still can't find it. You know what I mean? Black bitches, you know what I mean? I deceived them out of the riches. Life is good. My bank account is cool. I'm doing cool, but what, what about this dick, though? What about this dick, though? I came up, but I'm not coming. I'm coming up, but I'm not coming. What about my dick, though? That's going to be the nigga new book. What about my dick, though? That should be your book. You trying to hide behind this Bible. You know what I mean? Move the Bible out the way, nigga. Niggas trying to hide behind this Bible, man. You know, that's what the new book should be. What about this dick, though, bitch? You know what I mean? You crying and all these bitches talking about, oh, my God, Derek. You know what I mean? How could you? But what about this dick, though? You know what I'm saying? What about my dick, though? You know? Does anybody feel sorry for my dick? Is anybody weeping and having gnashing and teeth and lamentations over my dick? What about this dick, though? This dick is not going to suck itself. What about this dick? Everybody sitting over there crying about my wife. Everybody sitting over there fasting and praying and, oh my God, that poor girl. What about this dick, though? This shit still get hard. <laughs> I'm eating right. I'm working out right. You know what I mean? What about this dick, though? <laughs> this is what Derek really want to say, but he can't say it. What about my dick, though? You know, I feel you on all of this philosophical, spiritual, Apostle Paul said this and that, but what about my dick, though? That's the message. If you don't learn nothing else, ladies, from what I said, what about my dick, though? Yes, I got these books. Yes, I'm having money. Yes, I'm a father. Yes, I'm married. But what about my dick, though? This bitch forgot that I got a dick between my legs, and she don't satisfy this dick no more, man. You know what I mean? What about my dick, though? Matter of fact, don't even write that. Don't even write uh, write that, Derek. I'm going to write that one myself. That's a new book right there. What about my dick, though? And when I come out with my book, what about my dick, though? You bitches better support me. Y'all better support me. I'm saved. I've given my life to God. I done joined Church of God in Christ. Manezza, Maranatha, Abba across the street giving God praise full gospel church but what about my dick though these bitches be forgetting I still got this shit between my legs what the fuck I'm supposed to do with all of this this bitch looking any kind of way she don't work out you know what I mean I don't like this shit how I'm supposed to come off this what about my dick come on everybody is kind of setting themselves up to fail even if the divorce goes through I had to get to a place where no matter what, I'm honoring my commitment to God first, my wife second, the marriage second. And that's with the marriage completely gone, her all but guaranteeing that she was out the door. So that is the gist of it. Like I said, guys, if you look in the comments, you're going to see the bloodthirsties. They really don't care. Um, but the whole Derek got caught Cheating in his wife's bed is BS. Complete BS. It's complete. Derek letting you know, like, look, I fucked a bitch. She sucked my dick. You know, the pussy was cool, but I didn't fuck it in my wife's bed. Now, come on now. Y'all going to give me the decency. You know, I fucked in the basement. I got my dick sucked in the kids' room. It was that one time in the shower. I threw that shit up in the tub. You know what I mean? The bitch was taking a shower. My dick got hard again. Uh, she was like, Derek, I'm taking a shower. I was like, what about my dick, though? You know what I mean? Hopped up in the shower with the bitch. You know what I mean? Fucked her again in the shower. I fucked her in the attic. You know what I mean? I threw that shit up in the garage. You know what I mean? I fucked her on top of the chandeliers. But I did not fuck her in me and my wife's bed. Come on now. This dick is omnipresent. I fucked the bitch all over around the world. But the one place that I didn't fuck her at is the bed of me and my wife. I fucked her in the kids' room. I fucked her in the new room, you know what I mean, that my wife didn't even know about. I, I fucked her in the backyard. I fucked her in my neighbor's yard. I did all of that, but I did not fuck her. You know that I fucked you all over the house, but you know I didn't sit up there and fuck you in uh, me and my wife's bed, bitch. Don't be lying on this dick now. 
Tell somebody say, don't be lying on this dick. What about my dick, though? Come on. I'll own up to anything that I did, and I deserve to be held accountable for anything that I did. If I was living a double life, it was trying to encourage people when I was discouraged. It was trying to help people build healthy relationships when my relationship was... This nigga, this nigga coming with some cold manipulation. You know, if anything, you know, I was trying to encourage y'all. You know what I mean? Like, y'all trying to tear me down. But even when I was committing adultery, getting my dick sucked and eating ass, I was still lifting y'all up. I was still giving y'all enlightenment, encouragement, so y'all can get y'all motherfucking development and improvement around here. So don't come at me criticizing and minimizing me. Because even when I was tasting ass, you know, even in the scripture says, oh, taste and see. You know what I mean? But I was tasting some ass, you know, booty cheeks clapping in my face. But even with all of that going on, I still took out time from committing adultery even when I was committing adultery even when I was tasting ass even when other bitches was riding my face I still took time to get in the car and make videos to lift you bitches up and this how y'all do me this is how you do me that nigga acting like David Ruffin in the temptation you ungrateful son of a bitches I made your asses <laughs> come on this mantle this shovel I absolutely did that so at some point, I guess we'll get a, a fix for that. But let's go ahead and go to the comments. Okay. Let's see. They're kind of moving fast. That nigga looking for the most Disneyland soft PG-13 motherfucking comments and questions that he can find. And out of 100 comments, it would be just one comment. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged, Derek. I'm praying for you. And 99 other comments, man, you a loser. How could you do this? Oh, nigga, you ain't going to get out of this. And he was just, <laughs> he had to go through so many comments just to get to them PG-13 comments. Come on. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. Let's see here. Somebody said, why did I ghost old girl? Good question. So I texted her, what we're doing ain't right. And his text game is weak. Y'all, that's why I said, let me go ahead and get, he giving y'all some of that cold con mail shit, you know what I mean? But he ain't really got no game. No game. Absolutely zero game. Nobody should be listening to him, you know, pertaining to no type of game. This nigga has no game. Zero game. Doing ain't right. We don't need to talk and get into this divorce is final. Right? So for me, my own logic, I could definitely go about saying, hey, just so we're in the right path of things, just so your feelings aren't hurt, I want to let you down easy, I want to do this, that, and the other. But that's not biblical. That's not biblical. That's according to my own sense, that's according to my own logic. Now, if I had it my way, what I would do is, instead of letting her down easy or- I totally forgot about that. That nigga was riding in the car, and he was like, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> just thinking about you. You were on my mind. <laughs> just wanted to say hey to you, but uh, <laughs> what type of drawers you got on? <laughs> no, but seriously, what type of drawers you got on? <laughs> Derek Jackson signing out. Like, the nigga lame. I can't. I can't get let I can't let them get away with that. But when you work out, you know what I mean, and a bitch could be attentive to you know what she considered to be an attractive appearance. You can get away with being a lame, but the nigga is a lame. You know, <laughs> I'm just uh, hitting you up because <laughs> I was thinking about you. You know, you've been running in my mind all day so i know you're tired girl <laughs> but uh yeah you know uh as i was thinking about you reminiscing and retrospecting yeah i just uh wanted to ask you <laughs> what type of drawers you got on <laughs> but uh 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 <laughs> i'm just playing no, I ain't. <laughs> what type of drawers you got on, girl? <laughs> Derek Jackson signing out. Like the nigga is a the nigga a dweeb. I can't deny that the nigga is a dweeb. Come on. Posting her or anything like that, I just wouldn't have texted her to begin with. I just wouldn't have reconnected to begin with. So I'm fine with being wrong for that. 
Let's see here. Um, but I'm a big proponent of, especially since I came in full submission, that you cannot save everybody else's feelings, especially when it's at the cost of somebody who matters most. You can't, you can't go sparing everybody else's feelings. You can't go giving two weeks notices. I gave a message to basically say, and I didn't basically say it to say, I'm not gonna talk to you until this divorce is final. And I cut it right then. After that, I just have to accept what comes with it. Let's see here. Look for some more soft ass messages. Let me see if I can find some more PG 13 questions. Hold on. That nigga so said. I run to the next one. You're not over the X. I absolutely agree. And let me make something clear. You know what I mean? Like, this, Derek, Derek is not good at lying. Not only shouldn't he lie because lying is unmanly, not only shouldn't you lie because lying is totally contrary to what a man is and you can't do what's vital to the title of a man when you're a motherfucking liar. But another reason why Derek shouldn't lie is because he's not good at it. When come in? Hmm? Oh, okay. You can pull up a chair if you want to. Bitch, like I'm, I'm still angry at you. I don't want to sit next to your tired ass. You know, you didn't even think about the lies. I told you to wait to another day. You had told me what you was going to say, and I told you that that shit wasn't going to hit, and you went live with it. See, the wife already knew that this Oscar award performance, you know, wasn't going to cut it with the people. Matter of fact, let me stop disrespecting the Oscars. You know, the wife knew that this lifetime performance that he's uh, putting on, that wasn't going to cut it. The wife knew. Wife ain't like, I don't want to be a part of that shit. Tell my baby, you can sit down and support me in my bullshit. You can sit right next to me. No, I'm cool. Yeah. See here, see if I can find another soft ass question out of the thousands of shit that's coming my way. Somebody have said, did I sleep with her? No, I did not sleep with her. And, and you can even just look at the face that he made when he said that to see that he's a motherfucking liar. Uh, somebody said, did I sleep with her? No, I didn't sleep with her. <laughs> Nigga don't even believe himself. No, man. Somebody gonna say, did I get my dicks up? Man, no, I ain't get my dicks up. Hold on. Somebody gonna say, did I have my tongue in the booty hole? Man, no, I ain't have my tongue in that girl booty hole, man. Somebody gonna say, did she ride my face? Man, no, she ain't ride my face. Man, come on, man. You know, like Derek should stop lying because he's not good at it. He's not good. You're not good at lying, man. Not only should you stop lying because it's contrary to manhood and you minimize yourself as a man every time you tell a lie, but you should stop motherfucking lying because you're not good at this shit at all. I never slept with her. I relate. Bill Clinton was more uh, convincing when he said he didn't sleep with that woman. Uh, with Monica, Monica Lewinsky. And it was like through Twitter, but I did not sleep with her. Why well, didn't I sleep with her? Honestly, I'm not even gonna say I- Why I didn't hit that ass? Why I didn't reside and abide in that pussy? Honestly. Some type of vibe like I feel like, oh, my values are this. I wanna make sure I'm respecting vows. At that point, I wasn't even thinking much about the marriage. I was on some rebellion to God type stuff. I was on some screw it all type stuff. I did. So you was rebellious against God, but you didn't get indulged. You didn't indulge in adultery. Like this is what happens when you freestyle lie. You're not even making sense. You're not even making sense to yourself. Derek knew that after he got off this live, man, I'm gonna have to put this shit on private. Especially when he's seeing Tasha K, you know, come out. He's like, man, I'm going to have to put this shit on prep. This video going to have to get destroyed. This shit can't be on my channel. That's why he rehearsed with his wife today. Like, yeah, we got to come better than this. You know what I mean? Because I fucked up. That shit wasn't cool. You know? So he knew he had to come harder. With her or anybody for that matter, because I'm not, I got to get deep. I'm not able to perform when I'm super stressed. 
I'm not able to eat ass correctly when I'm stressed. You know, I like to eat ass, eat pussy a certain way. And when I'm performing, you know what I mean? Uh, Cuddy Lingus, you know what I mean? I, I usually, um, you know, I, I don't like to, I like to be stress free. You know what I mean? When a woman ride my face, you know, I don't like to, you know, uh, be stressed out because, you know, the head ain't going to come out right. So I'm able to give a bitch that washing machine, you know, uh, when I'm not stressed, you know, but if I'm stressed out, my head really don't be, you know, the bomb like it's supposed to be. So, you know, I like to give a bitch stress free dick. You know, I don't like to be, you know, uh, I can't really stretch her out if I'm stretched out, you know, so come on. I didn't even have confidence that I could do something in that capacity. That's why I hit her up instead of somebody that I had actually had sexual relations with. I hit her up because we've always been able to Let me go over to Facebook. Let's see. Yeah, I want to be clear. I want to be clear. She's not innocent. She's not innocent. But I'm not a big fan of blaming people for possibly having ill intentions. Uh, he was like, damn, you know, I've been blaming God. I've been putting the blame on God this whole video, so it's only right that I mix it in with a little of myself. So let me uh, sit up there and put on this uh, Academy Award like I'm taking accountability for this shit. So um, let me try to show a little character. Or whatever, whenever you're the person who put them in position, you're the person who opened the door to them. There's a million people out there who may have bad intentions. Hers being bad, I can't necessarily say they're good, if she's taking pictures, you know, with my back, but. Hey, like we always say, you know what I mean? A woman can only do what a man allows. And you made provisions for that to happen, as he about to say right now. That's beside the point. At the end of the day, each one of us, especially if you're in a committed relationship, if you're separated during a marriage, you're the, you're the common denominator. You're the gatekeeper. So let me be very clear. Derek is not a victim. Derek is Derek. We know that. Tricked. Whether preyed on or not, Derek wasn't basically, you know, fourth. Derek it was not tricked, however, but he is a trick. To anything. That's not what happened here. Derek was in the place of screw this, it's over as far as the marriage, but screw this in terms of doing things God's way. And that's where Derek was acting from. Derek, Derek's no victim. Let me be very, very clear about that. Somebody said, why do you feel the need to explain yourself? Well, let me be very clear. It's not so much explaining myself. What I'm trying to do is let everybody know, one, not only why I wrote this book, but hopefully letting you know that you cannot rely on your own feelings, your own intellect, your own way of doing things if you're trying to be successful with anything God is involved in. So a marital covenant, you, you can't go into a marital covenant and this is my experience, this is my testimony. You can't go into a marital covenant thinking you're gonna do it strictly off emotion, of your intellect, that's even if you're somebody that has all the intellect in the world as something in your heart. The Bible talks about the heart, be, heart being deceptive for a reason. You can't do it based on emotions. You can't do it based on your perception. So if you, re if you read this book, for anybody who's already read it, you can vouch for it in the comments. The whole book talks about how you have to come under the submission of God. You have to do things God's way. You can't half do it, kind of do it, sort of do it, in your own time do it. You have to do things the kingdom way. Yeah. That's what he told that bitch. Like, you can't, if you're going to suck my dick, if you're going to take this dick, you can't sort of do it, kind of do it. You know what I mean? Like, you have to suck my dick. You have to swallow all this nut the kingdom way. Let's see here. That's what he should say, too. Like, they're, they, they want to know, did you eat that ass? Did you do something? Listen, 
Whenever I do something, I don't do it emotionally. I'm a spiritual driven man. David said, in, <laughs> David said in the word of God, you know, the Lord is my strength in him. I have refuge. And so <laughs> this nigga is so goofy. He'll say some shit like that. So Derek, how was the pussy? The word of God said that I could do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. And a lot of times it's not about fellas. It's not about bad pussy <laughs> or good pussy or the best pussy. It's about depending on God for strength. That's why when <laughs> that's why when I come, I'm able to maintain a hard on and fuck a bitch another round because I depend on the strength of God. For David said, "Who should I fear?" And that's why I don't fear a woman's pussy because I'm whole, I'm wholeheartedly in totality dependent on the grace and salvation of God. So are you here? To, are, are you telling me, Derek, that while you was in that pussy, God was helping you? Listen, God helps me with everything that I do. His grace is more than sufficient. So when I'm in that pussy, whenever I feel like, you know, what I mean, I can't go on and, you know, what I mean? I'm about to bust a nut and maybe I might have to switch positions to maintain my heart on. You know, what I mean, I just think about, you know, uh, as the songwriter said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. You know what I mean? I, I just go crazy on that ass. I keep bagging her up. I keep fucking the dog shit out of her and everything. Wow, Derek, I never thought of it like this way. No, it's a little glitchy right now. Derek, are you going to commit adultery on your wife today? Well, the word of God says that, you know, this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. And see, because... I have found what makes me glad, what makes my dick glad. I know exactly what I'm going to do within this day. Denise says, I'm glad that you put God as a group. Oh, Denise says, oh, you watching? Denise says, I'm glad. Oh, baby, you watching? Oh, yeah, baby, I'm watching you make a fool of yourself. And, you know, uh, Tell a lot of inconsistencies. Oh, yeah, I've been watching the whole time. You put God as the head of your life. Now he will lead you on the right path. Everyone makes mistakes. If you haven't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. You know what I mean? If you want to keep seeing my crazy ass, keep hearing my crazy ass, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell. Come on. And God has forgiven you. Absolutely. All right. So think that And it wasn't all about all. Uh, it was so many through there. He seen that all of that shit was negative. He was like, "Oh, okay, that's about all." <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I'm I see that there's no positivity, you know what I mean, in the comment section. I can see from the comments that are being shown, y'all not believing the bullshit that I gave within this video. So I'm gonna just go ahead and end this live. Hopefully I can come back better tomorrow with better lives or because Tasha Kaden went in so much, I might even have to tell the motherfucking truth. But regardless of whether I'm lying or whether I'm telling the truth, y'all make sure y'all go get my book. Don't forget your condoms. And also uh, my other book, you know what I mean? Uh, married to each other, but not seeing each other or letting the public see us in public. You know what I mean? Make sure you go get that book. You know what I mean? Don't forget your condoms. I know y'all uh, bought my book. You know what I mean? Don't forget your crown. But yeah, don't forget your condoms. That's part two. Also, you know what I mean? Uh, we could be married to each other instead of basically just uh, being seen in public uh, with each other. Y'all make sure y'all get that book too. You know? But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Derek is full of shit, and this is what happens, you know what I mean, when you're not a man. This is what happens when you're not doing what's vital to the title of a man. Because even if you're going to be involved in iniquity, a man's still going to have integrity to still admit that he did something contrary to that which he said, to that which he preached, to that which he teach. A man is going to basically admit his transgressions because he knows that without any acknowledgement, there cannot be any development in God. You know what I mean? David said, I acknowledge my sins and they are so ever before me. You have to acknowledge 
your transgressions. You have to acknowledge what you in. And what he did in this video was so unmanly. It was so ungodly. It was so carnal. You know what I mean? Because not only did you offend God by using God as manipulation to deceive the people into actually thinking that you had. He went into basically, you know, uh, well, why, why was you clapping her ass? Why did you fuck the shit out of her at that time? You know, why I was getting my dick sucked. You know, I was just rebellious against God. I was angry at God at that time. So you weren't attracted to her? No, I wasn't even attracted to her. I didn't want to fuck. I didn't want to get my dick sucked or none of that shit, man. It was just that at that time, I was rebellious. I was really against God. Me and God was in it at that time. God was my ops. You know what I mean? Me and God had beef at that time. So that's why I was putting my beef, you know what I mean, in other women's taco, simply because I had beef with God at that time. And that's why y'all should get my new book, you know what I mean, putting beef in other women's taco, you know, when I had beef with God. Make sure you go to Amazon and go pick that up. You know what I mean? I, I want you to go buy that book. Yes, yes, yes. At that time, thanks to God, I had beef with God and I was putting my beef in other women's tacos. So I want you to go get that. You know what I mean? At that time, you know what I mean? I was really indulging in other women's mouths, other assholes, other pussies. But I, I didn't do it because I was sexually attracted to these women. I was doing it because at the time, me and God had discord. We had just had an argument. You know what I mean? God had cursed me out. God had cursed me out the same way that Kurt Franklin went off on his son. And I was upset, you know what I mean, at, at God at that time. And it had nothing to do with my wife not having a ring on. I just wanted to get back at God. So that's why I was eating ass. That's why I was eating pussy. That's why I was letting a lot of women ride my face. That's why I was sitting over there in the uh, car making some of the greatest simp videos known to man. You know what I mean? Because I was angry at God at that time, man. We was beefing. But now, you know what I mean? We got a peace treaty. You know what I mean? He called me. We spoke. You know what I mean? And, you know, he got off what he got off on his chest. And I told God how I feel. You know what I mean? And after that, you know what I mean? We chopped it up, sat down, you know what I mean? And, and kicked it. And um, after I finished kicking it with the homie, man, you know, JC came through. You know, Jesus Christ. You know, JC, you know, uh, heard about the beef that I was having with God. And, you know, how we put our beef aside. And, you know, uh, everything is cool now. So, no, nah, I ain't going to... Uh, you know, fuck around no more at this time, you know, but yeah, at that time, you know, it really don't count because at that time I had beef with God. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you live as long as you want, never want as long as you live. Make sure you get in the comment section and give me your thoughts concerning this video. You know what I mean? As well, if you want to speak negative, or positive, if uh, I could get certain things out the way, I might come back later tonight and give you guys another live. I love you. Peace.